Similar to uh, removing stop words that we saw in the previous video, stemming is a very powerful tool for uh, reducing the size of corpus that the model needs to work on. So stemming is the process of reducing inflected or derived words to their root word or word stem. So what this means is that these, if you look at this example, all these words belong to the same root word code. Code, coder, coders, coding, all are derived from this word. So they don't differ much in their meaning in the context of uh, the words. So it's a good idea to uh, just give the stem word, word stem to our model to learn. So it will have much less of uh, word size that it needs to focus on. So that's why stemming is a very powerful technique. But uh, there are too many errors in stemming and it's not error prone because these are based on heuristics and there is no perfect rule that converts every word correctly to their stem word. So there are mainly two types of errors in stemming. One is overstemming and the second is understemming. So overstemming as the name says, over, that means too much. Too much of word is cut off. In that case, if too much of word is removed, then uh, the meaning of the word may be lost. And uh, also in order to map multiple uh, words to the same stem, a too much word may be cut off, reducing in meaning lost. And that's why uh, due to this, words having different stems are mapped to the same stem. For example, uh, we can take one example is university. Then we have universities. And then universal and universe. So these words in red actually should be grouped together and these should be grouped together. These, But the stemmer may wrongly convert it all to the same stem and let's say it converts to universe. So one, here the meaning is lost. Second, these all four should not be converted to one stem word, but rather uh, we could have converted these two to universe would have been better. And these two maybe to something other stem like maybe university or something like that. But if uh, the stemmer converts all four to the same stem, then this will be an example of overstemming. And the understemming is similarly opposite of that. So two words of the same stem are mapped to different stems. For example, we may have data and datum. So the stemmer, if let's say it maps it or reduces it to DAT and it reduces datum to D2. So it has broken down into two different stems, although both should have been mapped to a common stem. So this is the case of understemming. Now, why is stemming so useful? So when we can understand that it reduces the corpus of words that the model needs to work with. And the second uh, advantage is that we are explicitly telling our model that these words are correlated. So when we are uh, reducing word one, word two, word three, using a stemmer to a common word W, then uh, we are explicitly kind of uh, telling the model that these are correlated and we are just providing one word instead of multiple words. So if pro we have provided enough number of examples or a very large number of examples, our model may be ultimately able to figure it out that these words are similar uh, from the understanding the context of those words uh, where they were used. But uh, the model may also may not be able to figure it out. So it's better if we can explicitly tell it. Now, what are the different stemming algorithms? So some of these algorithms 
are Porter Stemmer, Snowball Stemmer, Lancaster Stemmer, and Regic based Stemmer. There are uh, more Stemmer algorithms, but these are included in NLTK package. And the most popular among these is this Porter Stemmer, and we will see more of it in the next video. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.